Good evening, yogis. It's Phoebe here. I'm happy to be back. And as you can tell, well, maybe not from the studio lights, it's uh, soon to be bedtime. So I've worked up a little flow for you to help relax, calm your mind and body down. We'll be doing some yin poses and then closing with some measured breathing exercises. So to begin, we're gonna come into butterfly pose with our feet together, but we wanna leave a lot of space between our heels and our hips. So we're not gonna focus on stretching the inner legs here. We're just gonna focus on folding forward to any degree. If it's okay on your neck, let your chin curl into your throat and begin to breathe. The focus of this butterfly pose Again, is not stretching the inner legs, but is about rounding the back and stretching the connective tissue of the back of the hips, the hips, and the spine. And the connective tissue is the fascia, the tendons, and the ligaments. And the only way to open the connective tissue of the body is to Hold poses for a long time, anywhere from four to eight minutes, and to engage the muscles as little as possible. So all of the poses we'll be doing this evening are gonna be on the floor. And <clears throat> we don't wanna push the body so hard that the muscles become engaged. So every time you have the urge to kind of push harder into this pose, resist that and just breathe in to the rounding of your spine, maybe into your hips. A yin practice is very different from the normal yang, vinyasa, hatha yoga flows that are out there. And not only is this great for opening the connective tissue of our body, but it's also a great practice to begin to watch the subtle energies of your body move without you having to work to move them. It's really about being able to sit with discomfort, whether you're bored or whether you're in pain. And being able to see how you react to not reacting. So these longer held poses, your body will begin to open up into the pose. And so micro adjustments are welcomed and encouraged. And maybe that adjustment is actually backing out of the pose a little bit instead of going deeper. Breathe. And check in with your body. Notice if you're tapping your fingers like this or moving your toes or any other type of mindless fidgeting. And begin to discern between fidgeting and micro adjusting. One is actually a distraction, a way of not being in your body. And micro adjusting is a way of listening very closely to what your body needs in that moment. And if your neck is getting sore, you can just bring your head up a little bit so your neck and head are in line with your spine again. Close your eyes when you get there. And there's only two wrong ways to do yin. And one is to push yourself so hard that you hurt yourself. And the other way is to not push yourself enough so you feel nothing. But there's a wide range in between those two endpoints. And it's up to you to explore 
where your capacity is along that spectrum. Take three more slow breaths here. And slowly walk your hands back up towards your body. Bring your hands underneath your knees and bring your knees together. And we're gonna roll onto our bellies. Feet stretch out long behind us. We're gonna bring <clears throat> elbows underneath shoulders, forearms parallel, hands on the ground. We're gonna come into Sphinx pose here. And there's a little bit more muscular engagement here. Pressing the ground away very gently, shoulders away from the ears. Keep neck relaxed. If you want, you can even bring your head forward or just keep it in a neutral position. Close your eyes. And the focus here is the compression of the low back and sacral area. And the secondary focus is the opening of the front body. It's a counter pose to the forward bend we just did. And <clears throat> This pose may feel confrontational, the, com the compression in the low back. See if you can relax your glutes around that sacrum, relax your legs towards the earth. And if you can't, if you're not able to relax, that might be your body telling you you need to back off so you can scoot your arms out a little further. And that should reduce the compression in your low back. Alternatively, if you feel you need more compression and more sensation in the low back, we're gonna come into seal as an option. Hands are out 45 degrees, fingertips spread. Push the ground away. Elbows are micro bent. And then bring your neck to stack on top of your shoulders and crown of your head on top of your neck. Shoulders away from the ears here. Relax your glutes and your legs once again. And breathe into the area that is compressed. Close your eyes and go inward. And see if you can find the little hidden pockets of space in the compressed area. Close your eyes. Option to always come back down into Sphinx. Three more breaths. And exhale, come down to your belly. Push back into child's pose with the knees together. Feel a deep stretch in your sacrum area. Send your inhale there, bringing a rush of fresh blood to the low back. We just stimulated what is known as the kidney meridian in traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture to help ground and root us down, drop out of our busy minds to our body and to our root chakra if you're into that sort of thing. Signaling the body to relax. Help us prepare for bedtime. Now push yourself up to seated. We're gonna come back to sit down we're gonna come into a forward fold over our outstretched legs. I like to sit on a bolster or a rolled up blanket or towel, lift my hips. And again, the focus on this is not stretching the back of the legs here like we would do in a yang practice. The focus is gonna to be to release the low back and that will have an effect of releasing the back all the way up the spine through the crown of the head. 
And even if you can keep your legs straight and bend all the way down, let's micro bend our legs or bend them as much as you need to to fully release the back. And so just curl in, let your chin curl into your throat. Your feet can relax, hands can relax, arm position, whatever feels good. And we're gonna breathe into our backs, right to left. Send your inhale to your upper back. And exhale, sink a little lower. Send your inhale to your mid back. Release with the exhale. Breathe into the back of the hips and the low back here. I'm gonna be here four more minutes. A really deep stretch for the connective tissue on the back. And this is the only way to stretch connective tissue is through longer held poses, letting time and gravity work on the connective tissues. Unlike muscle yang tissue, there's no way to force opening or relaxation on the yin tissues. So it's definitely a practice of patience, learning to trust that things will move on their own without your effort, which is definitely a lesson we can learn on the mat and take that off the mat with us. If your neck is getting tense, again, you can just look up at your feet or you can get a prop to rest on your legs and just rest your forehead here. Again, the primary focus is on the rounding of the spine, rounding of the lower back. Imagining that we're actually pulling the bones of the vertebrae away from each other. Relax your jaw. Relax your third eye point. Scan your body for any unnecessary tension that it's holding on to and see if you can soften. And if your legs are really tight, you can always actually bring your feet to the ground and do this, still a forward fold and still is allowing perhaps even more so the back to round. Just quieting our mind by focusing on sensation and the breath. Notice if this is hard for you. If you find yourself getting frustrated and you're feeling bored, maybe begin to be curious about what it feels like to be bored. How would you describe it to somebody? Maybe this is really painful for you and you're really tight. Maybe back off just 1%, but still stay in the pose and then breathe into that. We don't want to go right to our edge in this practice. We want to go to a place that's sustainable. Take three more slow breaths. Inhale, slowly, slowly begin to unfurl. Even just coming up to a neutral spine feels like a counter posture. And then remove any props off to the side. 
Slowly lower down to your back. Sigh out for a big release. If you feel momentarily hollow, then the pose has worked. And let's just take a few breaths here, watching the energy move from our back, wherever it may go. Begin to focus on your exhale. You don't need to make any changes to it, just begin to focus on it. And then inhale, bring your knees into, actually set your feet on the ground, knees facing up, scoot your hips to the left, drop your knees to the right. And if you need, you can bring a blanket, or a block in between your knees. And just lay here, option to bring your right hand on your left thigh. And inhale the left arm above your head, relax it on the ground. Just breathe here for a nice cross body stretch, and a twist. Again, make sure that your jaw is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed on the ground. Take three more breaths. Breathe out through your mouth. Next exhale. Bring your left arm back down where it started. Right arm back to the ground as well. Bring your knees back to center. Recenter your hips. Take a breath. And now scoot your hips to the right. Drop your knees to the left. Left hand comes to right thigh if that's okay for your low back. Then inhale, right arm above your head and melt into the earth. Feeling a nice stretch on the outside of your hip, the side of your rib cage, maybe down the outside of your thigh. With each exhale, feel a little heavier. Let your thoughts Begin to come apart in your mind. Become a little disjointed. Allow your, your storyline to make less and less sense. And just continue sinking into the earth. Three more breaths here. Exhale, the right arm back down. Release any props, bring your knees back to center, hips back to center. Give yourself a hug. Roll right to left across the low back. And then stretch out for Shavasana. Breathe in deeply through your nose and sigh out through your mouth. Do that one more time. Allow your feet to turn out. Palms facing the sky. Continue to melt your shoulders towards the earth. Let your skin on your face get soft. Eyebrows relaxed, jaw relaxed. Come in 
into your Shavasana. Option here to pause the video or just let it keep running. Stay as long as you'd like. Otherwise, deepen your breath. Exhale, make it as long as possible. One more regular inhale. Exhale, make it as long as possible. Feet back to the earth, knees up. Roll over to your side and slowly push yourself up to seated. Bring a prop if you need to sit on it. We're gonna do simple breathing exercise. So get comfortable, let your shoulders get heavy melting away from your ears and close your eyes once again. And we're gonna inhale to the count of four. We're gonna exhale to the count of four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Pause. This time, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, count of six. One, two, three, four five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Return to your natural breathing. Bring your hands in front of your heart, bowing your mind to your heart. Namaste. Good night, yogis. I hope you have sweet dreams. Thank you so much for joining me, Phoebe, here at Yoga TX. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram at Phoebe D Yoga or go to my website, www.phoebedyoga.com, where I keep a blog and a schedule of classes and a few little bits of other information. Good night. A little more up to the front than you would normally do. And just breathe into the back body here. Breathing into the lungs and the back. Bringing space in between that right shoulder blade and all the muscles there.